Right, we're very nearly done. We are now looking at the queries. We need to create three queries um, that are relevant and meaningful. All right, um, we need to support the problem and inform, inform support the problem and solution. All right, so the complexity of the queries we're looking at, one meaningful aspect from each level is one with a simple criterion something that just literally extracts a single value. So we're not actually going to put in X. We're just going to put in, for example, males. Okay, but obviously it doesn't really help checking how many males there are. Um, or is null, how many people decided not to fill something in. Okay, level two will be a field one field with combined criteria. So it's not like an Excel where you, if you apply two fields with a single criteria, you're going to get this mark. It has to be one field with combined criteria, something like male or female, which would not be, uh, unless you had an other as well, it doesn't help. Um, ranges are the easier one to do, so between range or a wild card works as well. Right, then a simple calculated field using um, operators or date and time function. So if you have the um, date of birth, you could also work out the age over here. Unless you already did an Excel, then it doesn't really help that much. We do it again. And then a complex calculated field. So sum min, max, average, count. Um, they say all queries that use grouping. Personally, I think this is the kind of grouping. I'm not really sure how that's different. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so now you need to have a look at what would be a meaningful query. What do you need to find out? What would be interesting to find out which you could do with this specific criteria? Now for me, the way I prefer doing it is actually creating four queries. I find that easier than trying to combine criteria levels and labeling it with the level. The way I can actually indicate what I was trying to achieve is with a meaningful name. Okay. So the first one is just people who needed to upskill. So that would be a level one because all I wanted to do is this one is people who required new skills. So the way I need to know, the way I know that it's actually a successful query is you'll see at the moment I have 28 records and I have three, four, 11 fields. So I would definitely want for a query substantially less fields and substantially less records. Okay, so like you can see, I only looked at how many people there are or who it is that actually need um, new skills. And I actually looked at what sector they come from. Try to think of what questions you would ask if you had like 500 people's answers. So don't just look at what you have. Imagine what you would ask if you had a much larger data set. Something like average monthly expenses would be a good one for level two. Um, Cause now for a level two, we're looking at, at something like between. So I looked at something between 700 and 1,500 Rand for expenses. And again, I looked at a specific, for which specific sectors those people had average monthly expenses. I could also have tried something like wildcards to see who are in the corporate sector. Since not everybody in the corporate sector just used the word corporate, somebody actually used the word corporate with another word. So the wildcard one is a good one to use where somebody used or could choose more than one answer in a field. So such as programs they were using or things like that. For level three, we need a calculation. So calculations work best on age, date of birth, any kind of calculation or any kind of currency field. Or if you're absolutely, absolutely stuck and you have nothing like that, you're not going to get a mark for the meaningfulness of it. So then you definitely need four queries. But you could, if you're really stuck, just work out how many days ago they actually filled in your form just by taking today's date and actually take um, subtracting that from the timestamp. In this case, I have a monthly amount. So I tried to work out how much their yearly expenses would be for people who have a reduction in income and had to bear their own costs. So this is actually a level one plus a level three because I only looked at people who had, who bore their own costs and 
I then calculated the new expenses per year. Now you'll note that none of these have filters because I used it, I did all of it in the design view. I'm not going to show you the design view because then you can just copy my criteria, but you need to know how to do this criteria yourself. The last one, the level four, the one you can do grouping. In this instance, I looked at how many people uh, worked from home during lockdown compared to how many people are still working from home. So there are 23 people who still work from home and there are four people who actually returned to work and just one person who never worked from home. Okay, so I could actually use almost any of these as a good finding in my final report. So, so this is what you need to do. You need to make four, three or four queries, one for each level or you could combine levels. So if you have an extra criteria on your calculated field, then you can also label that as level one and level two, things like that. We've done the complexity of the queries and we've actually completed three meaningful queries.